In this episode, we will be talking about how to be more confident and love yourself. I'm really excited about this episode because I kind of briefly hit on it in the last episode to where I had a problem with confidence and I was very insecure and that was the reason why I attached to people so hard. And honestly, you will always have insecurities and things that you're not proud of. It's just the way that you deal with it and your perspective of it. So if you're new to my channel and if you don't know who I am, hi, my name is Raina. I do drive and girl talks every Tuesday. So if you're interested in girl chats, girl talks, and you just wanna be a part of the fam, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give my video a thumbs up. It really helps support this channel. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Before we get started, I wanted to ask you guys if you would be interested in this series idea. So I came up with this idea where it would be kind of like a glow up series and it would just be me telling you how to pamper yourself, kind of the best books to read for improvement, just a step-by-step -step process of how to glow up. And it's gonna be a series similar to this one, so it's gonna have like a lot of episodes and everything. And it's gonna start off by me sharing my glow up journey with you guys and sharing like pictures and how I used to look and how I used to feel and things like that. So if you guys would be interested in a glow up series, can you please vote on the poll that will show up right now and put yes or no and just let me know if you guys would be interested in that because I feel like it would be very fun and I wanna share my story and experience with you guys. So right now I'm actually on my way to Chipotle. I really want their pineapple orange juice. That's literally all I'm getting. And then I'm gonna go to Ulta to do the curbside pickup because I want some makeup girl. But Anyways, so this driving girl talk, like I said, will be focused on confidence. If you right now are very insecure, listen girl, I know what you're feeling and I know where you're coming from. I used to be a super, super insecure person. Like in middle school, uh, high school, I was so insecure and my insecurity, everyone has something that kind of triggers it the hardest and my biggest one was my weight and it was my skin. I used to be obsessed with being skinny. Like I really truly don't know why. I would literally like starve myself and not eat because I was just so obsessed with being skinny and I also also think it had to do with what I was consuming kind of seeing like I used to be very into looking at models and um, getting to know models and researching them and I was just so obsessed with certain ones and you know back then it was not a good thing to be thick it was not a good thing to have weight on you and so I was so obsessed with staying skinny, being as skinny as I possibly could be. Like I'm already a very little person, like my body shape is very small. So just imagine, I was literally like starving myself because I just did not want to gain weight. That was where my first insecurity stemmed from and then my second one stemmed from my acne because I had a really, really bad acne y'all like and if you guys also have bad skin or bad acne or even eczema because I had really bad eczema and I still suffer from it but like I know what to do to help it now if you guys want me to do a video on what I do for my eczema I can do that but as for my acne journey I have a playlist for that and I'm recording my Accutane uh, process so if you're thinking about getting on Accutane and you want to know my process or kind of what I do for my dark spots things like that go check that playlist out and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss it. Okay, so honestly, I kind of changed my mind about Chipotle's drink. I want to get another drink. I'm going to go see if this old boba place that I like is open because I want to drink. I feel like every time I get on Drive and Girl Talk, I'm always getting boba. But you guys, I swear, I don't drink a lot of it. I just, I just have this urge every time I do these talks. I just don't know why. I used to have really bad acne. I would actually get picked on because of my acne. Uh, by family members, by people at school. I remember this one time this guy was telling me, oh, like you would be so pretty if you didn't have all of those dark spots on your face. Just things like that people would always freaking tell me. Um, and it hurt, like it really, really hurt that people would say those things about me because your skin doesn't make who you are. And I would honestly say, even when you improve your flaws, whatever your flaws are, whether you wanna lose weight, whether you wanna clear your skin up, whether you wanna get slim thick, whatever you wanna do, girl, 
it starts mentally. You can't expect just because you improve these things, your whole entire life changes for the better. That is not the case, trust me. Um, because even when my skin started getting clear, I still had insecurities. I still felt the need to be dependent and very attached. It was a toxic cycle and it all comes from your mentality. Because even a lot of people who have lost weight, because my mom lost a lot of weight, so I know a little bit about this, um, they still have it in their mind that they're big. They still convince themselves that they weigh more than what they do weigh. So your mind can trick you because you're so used to being that way. Even me, like my skin isn't terrible right now, but even when I see one pimple or one dark mark, it literally can change my whole entire mood. Like I'm like, oh my gosh, my skin's getting bad again. What am I gonna do? I don't want dark spots again. I have to hurry up and find something to fix this. It's like a constant cycle. And you have to just realize that this is just your physical body it's really not that deep and people who actually love you will love you regardless of what your skin looks like or how much you weigh or any of the insecurities you have your nose your face anything like that people will love you for you and you have to find these people and just stay away from those people who make it seem like you're defined by how you look you definitely have to pay attention to your circle. If you're around people who are constantly judging other people, if you're, if even your family members are pointing out things about yourself that you don't particularly like, the best thing to do is to address those things with those people. Now, I understand something with family, they don't understand when they're in the wrong, and a lot of times they just feel like they're always right, and they're trying to do what's best for you, but if you communicate with them that it's not working and it's actually hurting you, then that could change something. But if it doesn't, what you need to do is you just need to start distancing yourself. I understand that they're your family, but a lot of times family can be very, very toxic to you. So you have to start distancing yourself um, physically if you can, mentally, definitely mentally, you have to start detaching from people. You have to understand a lot of times people say things to you because they are hurt. Like they say negative and hurtful things to you because they themselves are hurt. Hurt people hurt people. And a lot of times people are just projecting onto you. And especially with family because family, they always have this idea of how you're supposed to be in their heads, but it's not who you truly are like this is not you they always have an illusion they always feel like you should be who they wanted to be growing up and that's just not the truth for a lot of people a lot of people want to go down a different path than what their parents want them to do and that's totally fine it doesn't mean that you're less than it just means that you're not following the grain or what they want you to do which is totally fine in my opinion that's the best thing ever just breaking away from that is the best thing to do you shouldn't let somebody tell you that you shouldn't be yourself or you shouldn't be weird or you shouldn't be quirky or anything that you feel like you are that's not accepted you can be that like don't let anyone's perception of that change the way you act and as for social media you need to learn the right people to follow and the wrong people to follow for instance it sounds really really bad but just because I know you and just because we are friends doesn't mean I'm going to follow you. And you need to learn this because sometimes it's your closest friends and it's the closest circle you're around or even your peers that are the most negative people. So you need to start unfollowing people that are always negative. You need to start unfollowing people that are always talking about other people or who make you feel negative and you don't know why. If anyone triggers any negative emotion in you, unfollow bitch you need to start choosing what you see and what you don't see because if you don't want to see it unfollow it mute it if you have a twitter mute the word uh, mute the person unfollow the person whatever you need to do to stop seeing that person you need to start doing because filtering things out is the best step to start going in the direction to where you need to go because the less of what you see that makes you feel negative the less that you care about it and the less that it worries you so it's very important to filter things out because eventually 
when you see it, you won't care about it anymore. Like, it'll have no effect on you anymore. So just keep that in mind. You just really, really need to understand what triggers you. The next thing that you definitely want to do is find your passion. And it cannot be a person. It cannot be your boyfriend. It can't be your girlfriend. It has to be your own thing. It has to be either working out, starting your own business, fashion, art, anything that you've always loved and you were always just naturally good at. You don't even have to be naturally good at it. It's something you just love. And pay attention to the things that you buy, the things that you purchase a lot, the things you watch all the time. That is your passion. So find your passion, find your thing, and just bury yourself into it. Like, just make it your thing, make it your hobby. If you wanna make it your business, you can do that too. Just find that thing that just keeps you on fire because that's very important to loving yourself because when you just start developing your skill set with your passion you become more confident in yourself and you believe in yourself a lot more so it's so important to find your own passion it's also very important to have daily affirmations so make sure that you are telling yourself that you are beautiful every day that you are worthy of love every day something that I personally do is so for this year my affirmations were more geared towards career and money so what I did was write on a whole bunch of notepads or a whole bunch of sticky notes and I just wrote down daily affirmations like I am so successful you have to talk as if it already happened right so write down on sticky notes for example if you want to develop your confidence this year I am extremely confident I'm so beautiful I'm so good at what I'm pursuing in my life right now my family is extremely supportive of me things like that write it on a sticky note put it on your mirror so every day when you wake up and you go to your mirror you recite those affirmations out loud. You actually say them to yourself, looking yourself in the eyes out loud every single morning. And this helped me so much with manifestation and achieving what I've always wanted to achieve. So definitely make sure that you do that. These naked drinks are so freaking good. This is actually my favorite flavor, the Blue Machine. It used to be strawberry banana, but I like the Blue Machine more because it just tastes so good. Something else that you definitely want to do that is very underrated and what I'm going to start doing so you guys can start doing it with me is write down your monthly accomplishments. After every single month, write down what you have accomplished that month or every after every single accomplishment that you have that is really big and meaningful to you, start writing that down because a lot of times we go through life forgetting how far we've come and we don't have anything to record, something that made us super, super happy that we've accomplished. Even the small things especially because so I have this blog right you guys should know about it by now it's always in my description and um, it's a female empowerment blog so it helps with confidence it helps with women uh, making them feel better about themselves so I do articles every single week that pair with this girl talk we grew a lot like we have been blogging since August and we're already almost at a thousand on Instagram but it's so easy to forget things like that because you don't pay attention to how you felt when you were at zero. Everyone starts at zero followers, zero everything when they're first getting started. But once you go along the way and you're actually growing and stuff, you just tend to forget where you started. So it's so important to have those accomplishments written down. Every time you make an accomplishment, you need to write it down. It's so, so important. So another thing that you can do that is super, super helpful is to write down every single thing that you love about yourself. Because even though we have these flaws, as human beings, we love to focus on the negative things so much that we forget about the positive. So what I want you to do is take a notepad or write in your journal, your notebook, anything like that, and just write down a list of everything that you love about yourself. I love my hair. I love how long my eyelashes are. I love that I'm a very forgiving person. I'm a very trusting person. I'm a good listener. People tell me that I make them feel good. People tell me that I give them good advice. Just write down the things that you feel are your positive traits. Just try your hardest to write down so many things that you can. And I am giving you that goal of over 20. So try to write down over 20 things about yourself that you love. And whenever 
whenever you're feeling down about yourself or whenever you're having low days, just open your journal up, that notepad, look back on it and look at all the things that are positive about yourself, all the things you love about yourself. It'll really help keep you going even on your lowest days. I just got back from the store and I got home. So I just got home and got back from the store and I ended up getting the Buxom Eye Shadow Palette. So I'm really excited to try this. Oh, here are the shades if you guys wanna see them. They're super, super cute and I love how neutral they are. And then I got the ColourPop lip gloss. So this is what it looks like, so cute. I love pink, so I wanted to get this really bad. And this is in Paper Moon. So yeah, I'm about to go try that right now. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And give me a thumbs up, because it really helps support this channel. And yeah, that's it for this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.